This is Apollo Control. 70 hours, 8 minutes, ground elapsed time. Distance now of Apollo 20 from the moon, 30,385 nautical miles. Velocity toward the moon, 3,558 feet per second. To summarize the last eight hours of Apollo 20 mission, which uh, the green team of flight controllers under flight director were here in the control center, the crew went into the limb for the limb familiarization and housekeeping chores somewhat early. Also the television pass, which uh, had been scheduled to start at 63 hours 30 minutes, actually began at 62 hours 52 minutes, about uh, 38 minutes early. The TV ran uh, 56 minutes total time. During the TV pass, I took the viewer a tour of the lunar module and how they stowed the equipment in various stowage areas. Description of some of the uh, pilot devices such as the landing point designator and uh, they closed out with a view of the earth and the moon out the command module windows after the hatches probe and drogue had been restowed in the tunnel they continued on with the uh, their eat period and the uh, pre-sleep checklist uh, and a negative crew status report. They've taken no medications. We're back on the uh, timeline from beginning of the rest period at 68 hours. And since uh, mid-course correction number four likely will not be made, the sleep period will be extended to, for a total of 10 hours end some 7 hours 48 minutes from now. Moon sphere of influence, or equal gravisphere, at 68 hours 30 minutes 22 seconds. The handover is taking place now. The day shift, headed up by flight director And here in Mission Control, the uh, new team of flight controllers who likely were asleep at the time of the TV pass are watching a replay on the large Ida 4 television projection screen and on individual monitors. At 70 hours, 11 minutes, ground elapsed time, this is Apollo Control.